LEGO friendly listens to their fans, making exactly what we want. These prizes are unbelievable. LEGO finally won the LEGO Star Wars Diorama line. And with that, welcome back to another LEGO news episode. Today we got some more detailed set pictures of some Star Wars sets, some new Star Wars set pictures and some new Marvel set news, which is just crazy again. Let's go into it. The first set of this list is the Emperor's Throne Hold Diorama with 807 pieces, cost $100. For me, $20 too expensive, $80 would have been fine for me. At all, it looks really cool at the front you have the quote and the Lego Star Wars sign and also the 40 years year anniversary of Return of the Jedi sign. Though, I also think it looks really cool bullet. Especially the back is really nice. You get an exclusive Luke Skywalker and Emperor Palpatine. That is really really cool. Darth Vader is the same as we got so far, but it's also an awesome minifigure with the arm prints. At all, I think it's a really cool set, but it's way too expensive. The next set is the Chase on Ender Diorama with 608 pieces for $80. Maybe you would say, yeah, okay, it should have been released for $60. No, I would say it should have been released for $50 or less. Because when you look, the most pieces are these little plan pieces or these little pieces for the speeder bikes. So at all, this isn't a massive set. That's pretty small and that for $80. I mean, already the garbage uh, press costed $80 and this costs also $80 now, that can't be right for me. Also, I don't understand why LEGO make this as a diorama set. It isn't an iconic scene and speeder bikes in a diorama set. This isn't a set I want to put at my shelf and look at all day. This isn't a good diorama set. And then we also get a Brigitte's 5 pack Heroes of the Battle of Andor, including Leia, Wicked, R2D2, Lando Calrissian, and Luke Skywalker. 549 pieces, $40. At all, a fair price, I think. I also think it's really cool to get so many Brigitte's in one set. Um, they all belong to the same theme thematic or to the same film so it's really cool to have them side by side at your shelf and i also think the look is okay r2d2 is awful Leia is really okay luke skywalker is okay lando is also okay and we get also so not the worst set even when i'm not the biggest book Ads fan at all and for everyone who don't know, the Jabba set is cancelled, the Jabba's Palace diorama. So for everyone who is asking with the third diorama set, it's cancelled. So here we have the first UCS pictures of the year. The UCS X-Wing Starfighter releasing for $240 with 1949 pieces, two minifigures. At first, of course, at the best UCS X-Wing we got so far, it looks pretty nice. You only get four stickers inside, so that's also a reason why it looks so good. For example, the cockpit glass, you don't have to put awful stickers on it, but I would mean at the UCS set, like you should leave stickers completely away. But the UCS sign is now also printed, even a problem at here is that you see the marking point through it will let you just photoshop the way in some of their interesting pictures. The Luke Skywalker minifigure which is inclusive in this set is really nice. It just looks great with his um, dual molded legs and also his arm prints of course but I would just wish Lego would um, release some some more special models in the UCS line, like the BD-1 or some new special models, cause this is the third UCS X-Wing we get so far. And then we also got some great Marvel set news for August, November and December. Yeah, right. Uh, the Marvel Avengers Tower, at first leg we're gonna release a UCS Marvel Avengers Tower with 5,261 pieces for 524.99 US dollars. It will release in this UCS Marvel set line with the Daily Bugle, the Sanctum Sanctorum, and all we got three Marvel um, Avengers Towers so far, but not that a big one. 
that is something many fans or LEGO Marvel fans already wished. There are many existing mocks and also uh, sets from other companies who made exactly that. I'm really happy that LEGO makes what the fans want, but $524. I mean, the Daily Bugle with $300 walk was okay. The Sanctum Sanctorum, $250 is also okay. But $524 is way too much. It's like the Lord of the Wings who Vandil said, it's gonna be great, but no one can afford this. That's pretty sad. I just hope LEGO will make me do some of their official set testers on YouTube that they can send this set to me. The next news are about the new LEGO Marvel CMF Series 2. I was a big fan of the first one. I went so off to the toy store to fill all the minifigures. Only problem here could be that you can't feel them because they are in paper packaging. So the only possibility to get not so many double minifigures is to um, find two other friends who also want this and buy a big box and then you third the price. Inside are Hawkeye and Kate Bishop from the Hawkeye series, Echo from the Hawkeye series, but she also will get her own series, Moon Knight and Mr. Knight from Moon Knight, Agatha Harkness, again a minifigure from um, from WandaVision, they didn't make it, uh, made her big then, but many fans wanted. Werewolf by Night, a minifigure, Zombies and Wolverine from a new X-Men series, She-Hulk, and Kang the Conqueror from Loki, I think. And I forgot or wanted to forget that they also made She-Hulk. Next news about the 76249, a venomized good figure with 630 pieces. For fifty dollars, we already get the normal good mini uh, figure set, which was just great. One of my favorite Marvel sets. It was pretty successful, but I don't need another good. And I also spoke about this in the live stream, and I think everyone was exactly my opinion. And the next set is just the greatest Marvel set ever. Or maybe it can be the Spider-Man No Way Home Final Battle with 900 pieces for $105. Yeah, it's a bit overpriced, it will release in August and it includes all three Spider-Mans from the Spider-Man No Way Home and Battle and then also Green Goblin, Electro and Doc Ock and a Brick Bill Sandman that can be such a great set. I don't know why they make it now when the movie isn't that hyped but it's just great to get it. And so cool that LEGO hears to their fans and made this after a long time people want it. Then LEGO also gonna release a Captain America's shield uh, at all a really nice idea. Many other companies also did this with bricks at all. I think it looks really cool. It's a bit like the Mjolnir. It has uh, over 3,000 pieces and shall release for $210 at all. It's a fair price but again Lego should make things smaller and then for a cheaper price so I can also not buy this even when I wish I would have a Lego Captain America shield at home. And then also the last two news we're gonna get an amazing Spider-Man music set for $200 with over 2000 pieces and all can be really cool but the music sets are overpriced at always and then we will also get a Wolverine mask only in this helmet series only problem there could be that they don't make the hat and then you only have a mask what looks just awful for now i hope you liked this video it was pretty long i think but we also got so many nice and interesting news for star wars and marvel inside i hope you like this video please subscribe for more lego content bye